So the customer is very flexible, turning, drilling, milling, whatever he needs, up to 6.6 .6 meter he is able to produce and machine these parts. We're here again in front of a fantastically huge boss machine. Uh, we're near Sabrook, a company called Brook. Now, Michael, um, we're going to get Joachim to open the door and reveal the part in just a minute. But first of all, Michael, who are Boss? Boss, we are a premium uh, machine tool builder, for, especially for big turning machines. And one of our highlights is Let's that all through. our X's are hydrostatics. That means Y, X, and also the Z-axis, we build it hydrostatics. And let me show you what it means for our customers when we build big premium vertical lays with hydrostatic axis. As you can see, the customer is able to machine their parts, in this case as rings, with two tools at the same time. That means we have two massive ramps, 500 by 500 here. Yeah? You see them here on the right side, and then you will go on the left side. And the customer is able to machine this part double fast and on a normal vertical turning machine. Well, okay. Let's talk about the turning capability of the machine. Now, hydrostatic bearings is not something you hear about very often. And are they what allow you to come make such big cuts? I mean, look at the size of that swarf. It's absolutely huge. Yeah. What's the max step for cut on this machine? OK, on this machine, the limitation is not the machine. It's the cutting tools. <laughs> And the inserts of the cutting tools are right now just by 24 millimeters. So that's the maximum size you can yeah. get. And um, the machine is able to do more, but in the moment, the tools are limiting the machine. And as you mentioned, we have the hydrostatic axis. That means it's a very good damping yeah, on this machine. And that makes that machine so productive. Yeah? Also for the quality of the surface of the parts. Yeah? The hydrostatic helps you or helps our customer a lot to produce these parts fast yeah, and in the quality that they need. And it's amazing that sitting on the, the table is sitting on a thin film of oil in the hydrostatic bearings. And even though it's just a thin film of oil, it's very high pressure. And that means you can actually put 100 tons on this bed. Exactly. We can put up to 100 tons on this bed, no problem. And when you machine all these uh, rings with two ramps, you will see that we have a lot of chips. yeah. And we have these doors that, okay, right now they are closed for safety reasons because we're inside the machine. Later we will show you in the video when the door is open, yeah, that the ships fall down. Yeah? Okay, so let's move on now. Let's have a look at the milling and the drilling capability. So we've just watched them change both sides of the head on both rams. But Michael, what have they actually changed the heads to? Okay, this customer, as I told you, is normally producing the rings where he has to turn it. But in sometimes, even some um, turning rings needs to have some milling and drilling operations. And here you can see on the left side, we changed the head. You saw the head changer. Yeah? We have our MH900, our vertical Y-axis, who is able to machine on side of the rings, okay? You don't need a real vertical Y-axis. You can use our MH900, and we will show you what it means later in the video. And why would you need this kind of head? What kind of features would you be machining? Okay, when you have to machine a flat, but you don't have a real Y-axis, yeah? Then you can use the MH900. It's a big advantage for the customer because imagine you need now a Y axis here, yeah? All, which would, and then Y axis would extend all the way out over there. All right? the way, way out over there, exactly. And the other side, a real Y axis costs a lot of money, yeah? Now here we just have this head, yeah? So the machine is still very compact. The customer saves a lot of his production floor using our MH900. And Vertical that's such an important topic. Let's move over to the next head yeah. as well. But that's so important because you look at the size of the parts they're making here, which can go up to 6.6 .6 meters and 100 tons. You need the space around the workshop just to keep the, the parts. We're looking at this absolutely huge U-drill now, Michael. Now, what kind of features do you make it? Obviously, it's a hole. Yeah. But what kind of features on a, on a ring, on a bearing would you see? Exactly. On the rings that we are talking right now, we have sometimes holes up to 400 holes on one part. Imagine you have to drill this hole with one uh, ram only. And for that reason, the customer has chosen also the two rams on our machine, yeah? that he can drill the holes at the same time with the, uh, with the two rams at the same time. And look how massive it is. Yeah, We have a 63 kilowatt 
um, 63, 63 kilowatt, kilowatt yeah. power. And you can see this unit is 100 millimeter from the diameter, yeah? And we can use it on both ramps. Wow, so there's absolute power, not just in the turning the turning bed here and exactly. the C-axis, in both spindles. So you don't actually have to, I guess that means you don't have to worry about taking off. You can take big cuts in the turning and you can take big cuts in the milling as well. Exactly. Not only the turning process is a big advantage for our customer, it's also the milling process. Yeah, Absolutely. As we have this 63 kilowatts machine here uh, and on both ramps. So the customer is very flexible, turning, drilling, milling, whatever he needs, up to 6.6 .6 meter he is able to produce and machine these parts. Absolutely, and if you want to make those parts reliably, accurately, and speedily with the crazy power in the both spindle and the turning capability, how do people interested, how do they get in touch, Michael? Go to bost.es, yeah? Okay, you got it, bost.es, and get in touch with Michael Peschel in Germany and Bost around the world.